Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today we're not diagnosing a vehicle, we're diagnosing my own laptop. So this Acer Spin 1 touchscreen uh, portable laptop I got maybe a month ago and it's fantastic, you know, faster than my old tablets and stuff, but it has a very annoying issue with the trackpad, mostly with the trackpad, also with the keyboard. So when you're just, you know, using the trackpad, it's uh the cursor moves, right? But sometimes after a while it just stops moving. It freezes and then sometimes it comes back to life. Uh it starts doing weird things. You can't like select stuff. You know, like right now it works, but hey, look, it froze up. Then it moves again and then it freezes up even though I'm still scrolling. Very annoying, especially for mobile work when you don't have a regular mouse. A regular USB mouse works fine. And the other issue is if you're typing something, sometimes it'll just you know go to a different spot on the Word document. Uh, if you're browsing online, if you're typing something there, it'll like scroll the page up for no reason. Um, it's just, you know, getting to be very annoying. Now you might say, why not just send it out for warranty or repair? No, I don't I don't think that'll work. They'll just reinstall Windows, like update the drivers. It's not a driver problem, it's it really looks like a hardware issue. So what better way to do some research than go on Google and see if anyone else has had the same problem? Acer laptop touchpad fix. So, <laughs> a few days I started to wonder if I had a lemon. The trackpad would randomly stop responding to touches. First, all I could do was restart, then discover you can toggle the touchpad on and off. Contacted Acer and sent it in for warranty repair. They basically re reset the computer. Thanks for wasting my time. Online forum. This is where people are creative and solve problems. So this looks like what the issue is. The Synaptics touchpad board has two copper traces to connect the laptop's ground. Acer only used one and it's not soldered. Instead, they used conductive tape to reach nearby isolated metal plate and another piece of conductive tape to reach the motherboard. Well, that's pretty crazy. In my experience, conductive adhesives aren't perfectly conductive. Sure enough, I measured a few ohms, too much resistance. How to fix it? I burnished the conductive tape to make it stick better. Carefully soldered the edges of the mesh tape so it would conduct even when the adhesive failed. So I see two solder joints right there. Uh, obviously, you want to be careful with your soldering iron so you don't burn up the touchpad. And then, he soldered another wire from this other pad. So, fix worked 100%. I've been using it for weeks without a single touchpad freeze. The warranty is void, but I don't think it's missing anything <laughs> considering Acer's total fumble in my first repair attempt. Then the touchpad broke. Worked great for a few months, and the micro switch failed. It wouldn't register clicks anymore. It got a replacement via eBay, and it works fine. Okay. So we're going to try that. We're going to tear this thing apart. Look at that touchpad. And first, measure how good that ground is. And B, try to fix it. Because, I, you know, I need this laptop for work, and I don't feel like going out and buying another one if it's going to have the same issue. All right, here we go. Let's remove all the little baby screws. We'll see what we find inside. All right, screws are removed. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. 
here's our stuff. And the touchpad is going to be in this area. Now what we could do is get another computer and pull up step-by-step -step diagrams so you don't mess anything up. So with our battery pack up and out of the way, just folds up. This is our touchpad and let's just measure the resistance. So you see the ohmmeter here. Between there's a conductive strip. It's just, again, it's just stuck on there and stuck on the case. I'm going to measure from this pad to the surface right here. Not conclusive here. <laughs> Here to here. Let's do a control measurement. So zero point one ohms is good. Now if we go from the touch pad. What if we go right from here? About two ohms. And the guy said that it was that's bad. What if we go right from the metal tape? Zero point two is good. Zero point five. Zero point eight, six ohms, ten ohms, eighteen ohms. I'm definitely touching the copper. See, it's jumping around. So that is indeed a problem. So let's see what we can do here in terms of putting a little dab of solder on there and see if it helps. So on the Hacko soldering station, turn it on. Let's dial down the temperature. We don't want 600 degrees. Let's try 400 degrees. Five. So. Let's see if that'll work. Alright, so the iron's definitely hot enough to melt solder. So I'm just gonna touch and hold it right on this metal braid. See if we can Okay, do the same thing over here. I might have to turn up the temperature.
doesn't want to stick to the metal surface. I'm going to have to scratch it up just a little bit. All right, I know it looks ugly, but let's prove the concept. All right, resistance check. Let's go from the furthest pad away to the case. Zero point six ohms. Again, the contacts here. I have to really press down. Jumping around a little bit. Let's try from the other pad. I think it's a lot better. It's not jumping around up to you know like 10 ohms anymore. So I have some hope that this will work. Let's put it back together, see if we can reproduce the problem. Well, so far on the test drive, it's looking pretty good. I haven't had the cursor freeze up yet. I've been using it for like 10 minutes. Um, we're on a picoscope here looking at some waveforms. This will be upcoming in a, in a video on the Staten Island Express very soon. But when I was collecting these, I, I was really struggling to uh, get all the settings right and because the mouse pad was just freezing up and it was super annoying. And you can even zoom with two fingers. That's awesome. And the other thing that I was saying when you're typing, you know, a Word document, when the cursor would randomly jump places, that's because I had the mouse pad set to maximum sensitivity trying to correct for that freezing fault. And if you get your fingers close to the mouse pad, it was just, you know, going in different directions. But I set it back to, you know, the next level down, high sensitivity, and I don't know, it's, everything seems to work. You know, even scroll and select, highlight, everything's good. So hopefully, that's a long-term fix. If your laptop is having the same issues with the trackpad freezing up, don't send it in for repair. Just Get out your soldering iron, 10 minute fix, should be good to go. I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.